learning uh, and looking at this as we continue with this whole thing, just a few minutes with Jesus. We're in chapter 8, and just a few verses in chapter 8, three verses. It reads like this as we launch into it. Soon afterwards, Jesus began a tour of the nearby towns and villages, preaching and announcing the good news about the kingdom of God. He took his 12 disciples with him, along with some women who had been cured of evil spirits and diseases. Among them was Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons, Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's business manager, Susanna, and many others were contributing from their own resources to support Jesus and his disciples. Wow. Women. So very important in terms of ministry. By the way, I'm not saying this to fraternize in any kind of, uh, in any kind of way women. Uh, in my estimation, uh, in a real way, they're lifeblood of many of the ministries. The majority of them, easily, they're the lifeblood of them. They have a level of commitment. And we see that even uh, uh, in the life of Jesus Christ. We see it right here. They were here, there, supporting with their own resources. They were just as viable. They were just as important to ministry, just as important to ministry as the disciples. And they're mentioned here. They were with him. They were, in fact, disciples. And I would that from church to church and place to place, in many places, they are re relegated to a secondary place. I remember once talking to, with a young woman. She mentioned about Paul, that Paul was a misogynist. Misogynist is, of course, a person that really detests the uh, female gender. That's how she saw that. A real misunderstanding of God's word. There's no, 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 there's no doubt, as we have dealt with uh, our faith heritage, that there is a sequence in which the two human beings being man, man being female, being male and female, how they appear upon the earth. That that man comes first, and then the female comes out of man, and that this particular order is hell. But it doesn't mean she's inferior. It doesn't mean that she's second class at all. It's just the sequence that is honored in God's word uh, for women. But mentioned here uh, is the important aspect of the women in the life of Jesus Christ. And that should strike balance in every church and in every place where women are ministering. And it is one of the saddest things you've ever seen when women are relegated to second class citizenry. Uh, it's very difficult to sit up and talk about there's no respecter of person and then relegate women in things that are seen as being secondary or less than or we can make it without them that's nowhere in the life of Jesus Christ. We can see, yes, he had his disciples, but there were these women that they, they take the time, the writers take the time to indicate that they were very important in the ministry of Jesus Christ. And just let that suffice for us. Amen. Amen. Amen.